Hello everyone, my name is Jahar Ilham. I'm the daughter of Ilham Tohti. I apologize for not being able to be there today because of some visa issues and I thank you all for being there. My father was an academic. He cared about people and he wanted awareness for the Uyghurs. And people like you who cares about the situation means a lot to us. People like you who are the ones can actually make actions to change the Chinese government's behavior, can change their treatment to the Uyghurs. Majority of Uyghurs are Sunni Muslims and majority of them living in the west part of China. The Uyghurs who are living in China have been suffering from long-term persecution from the Chinese government. Uyghurs always had problem with equality for education, job opportunities. Why the Uyghurs have this problem? I would say, first of all, Uyghurs follow their uh, faith tightly and we speak a completely different language. Uyghurs also look different. We look not Chinese at all. When we go on streets, people would immediately can tell we're Uyghurs. The Chinese people uh, tend to isolate us or treat us differently. My father was a teacher at Beijing's Minzu University. We starting from 2006 and 2007, he started to do researches about homeless Uyghur children. Then that got him interested in helping the Uyghurs. He created a website called Uyghur Biz. This um, website was designed to provide a platform for the Uyghurs and the Han Chinese and other ethnic minorities to share their thoughts, publish articles, to read about the news, since platforms like Facebook, Twitter are not allowed in China. My father thought this, this platform was needed, and it actually captured a lot of attention, not only inside China, but also outside of China, and that threatened Chinese government very much. I went to boarding school and every Saturday I would come home and my brothers would greet me in front of the door like, Sister, you're here. But many times I would come home and see an empty, dark apartment. My father would come home and I would ask him, he said, Oh, Daddy went to vacation. I texted you before, but the message never... I was also mad and then I was going through this teenager time and my father was carrying all this pressure all by himself on his shoulder. And I feel very guilty for not being there for him at that time. Do you want to go or not? She asked several more times. According to her visa, my father tried to explain. She has to go with me. If I don't go, she won't go. Do you want to go or not? I whispered. I don't understand. Why am I going to America by myself? They treat you like this and you will still want to stay here? Go. Go. Do you want to get on the plane or not? Yes, I said. This image plays in my head many, many times. Before I sleep sometimes, I always ask myself, wow, was it a correct decision that I came here? And I thank my father for forcing me to come because at least now I'm here, I feel like I could do something to help him.
I was really in shock when I heard my father was sentenced to life. China was trying so hard to blocking Uyghurs from uh, the society's eyes. Uh, they didn't want the world to know who Uyghurs are. When they wanted, they wanted to make us the, you know, evil, uh, violent. They wanted to shape us to that. Now he's sentenced to life because of he was promoting peace, understanding between Han Chinese and other other ethnic minority groups because he was trying to let people know the truth. The testimony at Congress, it was very stressful for me. Hello, my name is Jawhar Ilham and I'm a student at Indiana University. I'm grateful I did not know to appear here it, and if it about the would harm my brother's my, my father more. Personal, personally experienced it. What, what is your sense of the growing violence in Xinjiang? When the congressman asked me a question, I did not know what he really? meant, and I had to stay silent. I felt embarrassed. Then I realized how important education was. But now, things have gone really, really bad. How bad? One to three million Uyghurs are locked up in concentration camps. The Chinese government tried to eliminate our culture, our language. Those people, the Chinese government claims that they need to be re-educated. Our professors, high school teachers, intellectuals. I'm grateful to the United States for the opportunity to speak for millions of Uyghurs in Western China who remain silenced. I never expected this to be my life, honestly but I know I have to do it. Someone has to do it. Can I your president, yes, please. one, two, three million Uyghur population are locked up in concentration camps in China, including my father, who's now serving life sentence in China. I haven't seen him since Where is that? Where is that in China? That's in the west part of China. The region in Chinese is Oh, Korea. you know, US just put visa restrictions of Chinese Communist Party officials complicit in the camps. Yes. Yes! One person's power is too little. I'm just like, I feel like an ant, small ant. I, I try so hard, but I will need a team, a much bigger team to help me to change Chinese government's behavior.